Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm doing the biggest canvas I have ever done which is an 18 by 24 inch. Now I've been quite nervous about this one and I decided I did want to do a swipe on this one but because I've been a bit hit and miss I have been practicing on a small canvas to check my paints to see if they have the correct consistency which is why my hands are already mucky. I practiced on the small canvas um, with my swipe so just by laying down the paint colors and swiping across them to see what kind of reaction I'd get. Each time I'd scrape off the paint because I wasn't happy and I was able to reuse that uh, as an extender for my next pour. So I've got this paint left over from my practice canvas which I'll be using in my corners. The colours I've got today are the Cobalt Blue Ultramarine by Amsterdam, the Greyish Blue uh, by Amsterdam, the Turquoise Blue by Amsterdam, the Prussian Blue Phalo uh, by Amsterdam. I have my Amsterdam Titanium White in my swipe mix and I'm using the Liquitex Basics Iridescent White. So these are the colours I've been playing with over the last um, few videos and what I'll be using today. I'll just quickly show you the consistency I decided upon. I'm not sure how well you can see that. They're all about the same. Which is good. This one's always a little bit different. So it appears to be thicker, but it still runs fairly well. And that one worked well on my first swipe, so I didn't actually test it again. Hopefully, it still reacts the same. So, uh, I've been doing puddles and I want to stick with that theme because that's the only thing I've practiced so far really. My swipes with my lines was before I improved. So I don't want to do that today. Um, I think I will mix them up a bit as well so here we go now I like to be fairly random with my color choices I mean not my color choices but my where I place my puddles I don't, I don't tend to go for any particular type of pattern. I just want to break them up. There's a few different things I've worked out. I've discovered that this technique is uh, more complicated than I first realized and by complicated I mean to get the result that I'm looking for uh, to get that re result there's a number of things that need to happen. So you need your medium right, you need your technique with the palette knife right, you need your cell activator right. Mm. You need, actually I might go for some, sorry, 
trying to talk and think at the same time. Let's put some white in here. I'm going to reserve a bit of the white <coughs> for, like, for where I'm going to swipe. You need enough paint on the canvas to get your tilting right. Is interesting. So I'm going to put a fair amount of paint on here because I like my lacing to be dark through the middle. I like my lacing to be fairly neat. I don't want it squashed up. Right, we're getting somewhere. blue so I'm going to save the rest of that and uh, what else do I want just want to fill this out a little bit so we're going to be tipping Tilting. So I've actually got less of this than I thought. I was hoping I'd have a bit more. I know it's enough to cover the canvas, but my question is, is it enough to keep everything the way I want it? Alright. Where am I going to swipe from first? Maybe that way. So really I want to be starting further back, don't I? Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, I'm not going to tilt this around. I think I made that mistake before. All right, here we go. I'm trying to get a few curves in this one. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to have to do it on the side. Do another one up here. Hmm. I always worry about getting my fingers in. So I need to hold the palette knife like this. I think that put enough pressure on. Huh? 
Okay. Do I want to keep going the same way? Shall I swipe this way? And we're going to play with some of that through there, I think. Because I do want a bit of blocks. Stretched well here, not so much here. Okay, now we've got this bit up here. I might turn it around. Ooh, okay. This is heavier than I expected. It's not heavy, but it's just, I'm not used to. This has got extra timber in it, this one. And I've taped up the bottom, which I was gonna show you, but I forgot, I got too excited. This through here is really beautiful and I like that as well. Mm -hmm. What colours we got left? Do we make a really bold turquoise one? I think we're going to have a play, play with palette knife. I'm loving this here. I think this is going to turn out alright as well. This I'm going to tip off and I've got to try and save this by using my extra flow I think. So. I'm gonna get some gloves on. So I really wanna lose a lot of that. I think I have to tilt that way first because that's gonna overstretch if I tilt back the other way.
Okay. Interesting. This lacing on these corners is huge. I, I'm not that keen on what's going on. <gasps> What's happening now is um, it's the center that's moving. This has opened up a bit more, which is good, but then this closed up a bit. I wish I had more of the uh, dark colour. So let's push in blue. We've got some through there. It's not giving me that green. That's what I've get, I'm getting here. I'm not getting it in the other areas so much. This is really pretty. Sure, about it's a little bit jaggedy. It's not a disaster though. Okay, here it is wet. I'll take you in for a closer look. So, my hands are still filthy, but uh, here we're going to have some beautiful iridescent white flowing through here, which I think is really going to pop. And the lacing through there is beautiful. I always like it when it's, it's kind of got like the white and then an outline. Um, we've got that up here as well in the turquoise. Oh, I'll get the light out of the way. The turquoise outline, if you know what I mean. Now this bit through here, I'm going to touch up and make it look a little bit neater, I think, um, once it's dry. And then we've got some good lacing down here. With blend. Slowly blends up through there. Up the top, it's a little bit overstretched, and that lacing wasn't as crisp, if you know what I mean. But then through here, this is just the prettiest color. 
I just love that bit. I wish it was bigger. That's yeah, that's my probably my favorite with the colors. And then we've got some really big lacing through here. And again, I've got a little bit that I want to touch up just to make it look a bit neater. Yeah. Composition is good. I'm happy with that for my first big one. Uh, yeah, just a few little touch-ups. So um, I'll let it dry, do a few touch-ups, and then I'll show you when it's dry. Okay, so I've started doing a couple of little touch-ups uh, through here. I'm happy with that. I've done a little bit up here and here, but... Um, I really don't like where I drag my finger through and because I've got block colors I think this would be all right as a block color with maybe some black block going through it so that's my plan for this um, yeah so I'm gonna get on to that now Okay, here is the dried result. Now initially when I was uh, laying down my puddles, I was going to mix them up, but um, I actually ended up skipping that step without realizing. And it's actually produced something quite interesting because you've got these real blocks of color going through. Um, which is a little bit different, which I don't mind. So I I have gone through uh, a bit more after the time lapse and uh, refined this line even more. Um, and I'm still tempted to take a bit more of it out, but it, it's it's much better than it was. So that's that line. I've uh, got a bit of a shimmer happening with my uh, favourite iridescent white. A little bit up the top there as well. And down the bottom. Yeah. And this colour through here that I really like just wish that was a wider piece. I also came in and touched this corner up um, because uh, I that was the one that I added a bit of um, the scrapings and I just plonked it up on the top. It didn't look quite right so I've just gone over with the greyish blue and touched that up which looks good. So there, that's my uh, my big one. I will be doing more this size. Um, haven't quite decided what to do next. There's, um, this is quite good through here as well. The lacing. Pretty cool. In through here. Yeah, it's all pretty good. I'm happy. I am happy with that. It was a different experience using doing it on the big canvas, um, but I think it worked well. So I think I'm coming along on the swipe technique. I think I'm making progress. I do want to try some other techniques, but um, I still need to have a go with the black cell activator swipe slash swipe mix 
um, try and get that to give me some lacing as well. So I might do a few like that coming up with the black. See if I can get that to work. So if you enjoyed this one, please give me a thumbs up um, as it helps reach other people. And I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.